Shalom, Shalom again. Um, we, we talked about ICAS, the name ICAS, right? And we talked about how it means if, in the sense of if you follow, if we, if we come to obedience, right? If we come to obedience. But let's look at this right here for a moment, chapter 7, right? Now there's a midrash that like in the second word, and we're on page 141 right now. We're going a couple pages forward because this now is the classical rabbinical interpretation. So we're going to look at the name of what some of the rabbis said concerning Ikev, right? So there's a midrash, there's a study, right? A midrash which like in the second word of Deuteronomy 7 and 12 in the Hebrew, Ikev, which is this Torah portion's um, title. Like in that second um, word of Deuteronomy 7 and 12, to if or because, they liken it to the word I kevai, I kevai, I kevai, I kevai, which means footsteps. Isn't that interesting that that poster, you know, with like the footsteps that, that you know, that how the Lord carries us in that sense, that's the picture, that's the word picture there. Right now in Psalms 49 and 6, so take that down 49 and 6. Now, the Midrash interpreted this to mean from the verse, Why should I fear in the days of evil? The iniquity of my footsteps encompassed me. When the or some translate, When the iniquity of my footsteps encompassed me. Now, the Midrash. It taught that people sometimes fail, fail. We as people, we sometimes fail to observe the, the minor commandments, those minor things that are good to do, right? And thus, we trample those commandments beneath our heels. So we even avoid those so-called minor commandments. Now, I'm going to give a likeness. I'm gonna go for inspired, inspired word right here, because this has been happening among some of the brothers and sisters. I know we might be new to this. You know, said we still, we all are learning. Even I and I am learning every every single study or lecture. I come to it with certain knowledge or certain word, but as I speak and as I go through it, you know. Yahweh shows so much more in it. And so let's go into this right here, right? Let's go into this right here. You remember the Sermon on the Mount? Remember the reading of the Sermon on the Mount? Now these are all instructions of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Right? These are all the instructions, right? It says right here there are two foundations, right? In chapter 7, verse 24. It says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. And I remember when Christ gave the Great Commission, he says to, to uh, teach them, you understand, make disciples of all nations, right? And to teach them all things that he has commanded them. Now this, when we look in our red leather Bibles, we begin discipleship with Matthew's, um, Matthew Gospel, your Mateos, Wengel. And here we're at chapter 7, verse 24. Now, th th these are some of the basics. These are some of the basics that one needs as disciples to study. Well, we say especially the first um, 12 or 13 chapters of math, especially the, the red letters. You know, the, he gives us the basic foundationals here, right? And the ba basic precepts. He's like the commandments, like the ICATs, that when... People um, fail to observe even these minor things. Now, this might seem like a minor thing. This is just like a word sound of Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? But it's very important that we recognize this is the commandment of Yeshua. He says, Therefore, whosoever heareth, whoever shema, it says, hearken, hear, right? Shema, Yisrael. Israel hoy, shema. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him to a wise man. Right? The Torah, Deuteronomy, 
chapter 4 verse 6 says, This is your wisdom. Torah is our technology. This is our wisdom. Right? It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken to a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right? And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Now, if you read His Majesty's preface, the book one, My Life in Ethiopia's Progress, He would tell you Ethiopia Erinja, Bamarinya, in them hark. If you read just the preface, it's the first paragraph of the preface. In fact, I think we have it right here just to bring this into to show how his imperial majesty, what what is the teaching of his majesty? Let's look at his majesty's autobiography right here, right? And this is his autobiography book one. So you can see this for yourself. This is his majesty's autobiography book one, right? Now if we look at this autobiography book one just to show you that as a translation by Edward Ullendorf. If you want to see this in the in the Amharic, we've gone to the Amharic as well. But here in the English, the preface is says in, in paragraph one, a house built on granite and strong foundations, not even the onslaught of pouring rain, gushing torrents, and strong winds will be able to pull down. Some people have written the story of my life, representing as truth what in fact derives from ignorance, error, or envy. But they cannot shake the truth from its place even if they attempt to make others believe it, believe it. Now his Majesty begins off by saying a house built on granite and strong foundations not even the onslaught of pouring rain, gushing torrents, and strong winds will be able to pull down. This is how his Majesty begins off his autobiography. He would tell not yet Ethiopia Erinja, my life in Ethiopia's progress, the nectar, the preface, right? Now, that's from the preface. Let's go to Yeshua. Let's go to the Son. So we read Abba's words. Let's look at the Son's words. And it says, he says right here, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him to a wise man. I will liken him to a wise man, not a foolish man, but a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Sounds familiar? And the rain descended, and the wind and the floods came, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell not. Why? For it was founded upon a rock, a firm, a true, a strong foundation, a granite. You understand? That's his magic, it says foundation. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, these sayings, right, and doeth them not, and do not what? Doeth them. So we're to hear it, to learn it, in order to perform it, in order to do it. This is why we study Torah, right? In Yeshua, in Christ. And doeth them not shall be likened to a foolish man shall be likened to a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Now what's the difference between rock and sand? Well rock is firm. Rock doesn't move. It doesn't you know, it's like bedrock. It's firm. Sand, shifty. Shifty foundation. Right? Not a firm foundation. So Christ says that anyone who hears the saying, so both of them hear the saying, these two foundations both of them hear it. Both of them shimma. Both of them are familiar with it. But one hears it and does it. And the other one hears it and doesn't do it. So what happens? Verse 27. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, 
and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. So you see, even those things that might seem like a minor, like this saying of Yeshua might seem like a minor saying. But it's not a minor saying. You know what I'm saying? It's a very major saying, right? Every saying of our Lord and Savior is major, not minor. Every saying of Yeshua is major. So he says, he who hears these sayings of mine and doeth them is what kind of a man? Is a wise man. Anyone who hears these sayings and do not do it. So you all are hearing these things. The question is whether you are doing it. That's what determines whether one is a wise man or whether one is a foolish man. Right? One is a wise man or one is a foolish man. The one who does it is the wise. The one who just hears it and say, wow, that sounds nice, but doesn't do it is foolish. It is the foolish one. Right? Now, um, there's another verse right here that I want to share with you too as well because um, I kept, I kept, if, if, if you do, because you do. That's the same sense of, indeed him, Yehonah. And like this, it will be, right? And like this, it might be. In other words, it's all according to whether you choose to hear right, and obey and do, or you just choose to hear, right, and you do not obey and do, all right, um, let me find this other verse right here, let's see, H-I, um, when Christ, he gave the advice, Christ had given some advice, which, which I, I, I need to really remind, I, I, I was, I, I've been meditating this for a couple of days because of some issues within, you know, within, um, within the family, you know, um, money issues also, you know, saying money issues that, that ones and ones, uh, have, and how, see, see, and, and that's what, this is what's so key about it, because in this particular Torah portion, in this particular Torah portion, we're going to get into, um, you know, we're going to get into um, money. You understand know money? Because cause, uh, it's going to speak about the reason for money. That John, money is the least. You have to recognize that money, of course money seems the most to us, but are we in covenant? We say we're in covenant, but are we, we heard it, but have we done it? Have we truly heard it? Have we truly learned it, you understand, know in order to do it? You understand? Know or are we just simply skylarking? You understand? Know are we simply just skylarking? Okay, my brothers and sisters. Give me, give me one moment, all right? Shalom. Sure.